not necessarily uh, tribal or regional. Welcome back to Daybreak Extra on Trust Television. Right now, we'll take a look at the front pages of the National Dailies. As usual, we'll start with the Daily Trust newspaper here. Uh, the main headline here says, Digital Loan Shacks, Shaming Recovery Technique, Pushing Nigerians to the Brink. Uh, Riders there says, I was asked to pay 2.2 million naira after borrowing 1.3 million naira that's according to widow we almost committed suicide due to harassment says the defaulters how regulatory agencies fail to act against lenders excesses and technicalities pushing citizens away from banks you'll find all the stories on page five and six of the uh, Daily Trust newspaper. Now, this is an investigation that was done by the Daily Trust newspaper. Uh, uh, I mean, a really sad uh, situation here. Uh, to a point, Fatima, that these days you 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 are on an, on your phone, you know, going through some apps, and the first thing that you would see, right, mm -hmm. is someone. It's it's an advert. You know, an ad would play off how to get loan mm. and repay in, in five days or 10 days. And I tell myself, if I have Could. to pay in 10 days, then why not just press myself to that need and wait until the that 10 days, days, the money I'll that makes sense. To pay. To, because yeah. nobody takes loan and you expect them to pay back in ten five, days. 10 days. You know, it, so it, it depends it's, on how much actually. Maybe it could be five, ten, ten, twenty thousand. Nobody would lend five, twenty thousand. But so because uh, obviously, if you are saying people should pay in five, ten days, mm. you are putting them in a situation where exactly in a box. They may not be and able to. If you mm. if you default, then every day it is increasing. Just look at a widow saying that she borrowed one point three million, and she's supposed to pay two point two million naira. Maybe the money she even got. Maybe to do a business or something. The interest it, is high. It, it, it did not come back the way she she thought it, it yeah. would. So now the interest was increasing to two point two million. That is double the price. Why would you even you know put yourself in that position? And 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 I remember you know the, the central bank coming to say okay all these uh, uh, lenders loaners you should not engage in them. But that is and it. Some actually even what happened calm, to control? Know, exactly. Really, they are not really giving loan. You could give your account and they could, you know, take Hack out. It. Yeah. They, take because the moment money. you log in, yeah. they have access because they have to your name, your BBN, you know, everything on all your, your details. Which yeah. is a really scary And even thing. your contact, because when you don't pay, then they you start, keep receiving the, messages, that, you know. I mean, that is the harassment. This person and that person, you that, know. That is the harassment that uh, yeah. the defaulters are, are saying that yeah. they went through. But at, at the end of the day, why put yourself in that, that kind, kind of, of situation? situation? And it still boils down to the government. First, the government needs to find a way to make loan easy access mm -hmm. you know to nigerians that way they won't even find themselves in this kind of situation and then secondly uh, they also need to hold these loan sharks accountable mm -hmm. because loan sharks are never a good idea in anywhere any country mm -hmm. so it's, it's a really you know a dire scary situation. situation i know someone who took loan from uh, uh this company to fund you know an immediate need and then before seven days she was supposed to pay in seven days before seven days it changed and then she she was she had to go and register in another loan company mm -hmm. so she was using this loan company, company to, to repay pay this, this one what? and then she wow. would loan from this one to, to repay pay this, this one. one i guess what the before you know she was really indebted with this Definitely. people and you know when you when you collect loan and you're not able to pay you could be blacklisted Indeed. Now that's another thing. I mean, imagine different loan companies sending all your contacts and details, uh, and you know, details yeah. saying that you've been you, uh, you don't pay all you're owing. Yeah, it's so a really it's... sad situation there. So yes, of course, the government needs to do more. All right, uh, below uh, the main uh, major story there, we have appeal court sacks Abba as Kenno governor and affirms Gawana. Uh, the writer says upholds Bala Muhammad as Bauchi governor. Uh, 
cuts now decides election outcomes that according to Konkwaso supporters we will reclaim our mandate at Supreme Court according to the outstead governor Gendrije says ex-deputy uh, better and praises Knox okay Gendrije is saying ex-deputy better that he, he was appreciating Gauna and praises Knox trail judgments uh, you find this on page four now 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 okay now what uh, you know it, it's happening uh, just like you mentioned earlier fati you said uh, the the jubilation is more louder mm. than 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 the, the, the criticism mm. than the tension so mm. i mean that that's a good thing at the end of the day it's not about the person it's about the state the people uh kind of people yeah. uh, uh the zamfara people uh, the plateau people wherever there is uh, you know a uh, court already uh, issue there that's the most important thing it's all about the people not the person mm -hmm. all right beside that we have meet muhammad 19 year old royal edifies decorator you'll find this on page 10 people are going into businesses so it's a good thing intrigues that decided winner and losers in kugi election now this is something that people were expecting you know another chaotic outcome in in kugi but I, I think that uh, the citizens of Nigeria are now growing, you know, uh, mentally, uh, should I say emotionally, rather. You, you now have this mindset of, I would go out and I would exercise my franchise and vote. And mm -hmm. if my candidate doesn't win, it's still fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, Whoever wins, if we want, we can go to court and all that. But mm -hmm. then uh, as long as the person that is voted in would work for us that is the most important thing so i feel like nigerians have now grown to that instead of fighting or going all violent just because you did not get what you want, what you want. Yes, yeah that that is not a good sign that's a sign of sick uh, uh mentality mm. so you need to go back to your training and you know anytime and situations like this happen you know the poor the vulnerable are the ones that always want to them kill themselves end. yes <laughs> but you know they are fighting for their candidates they were you know what have you and then you know they lose their properties their lives their loved ones and also mm. it's a good thing that it's kind of calm Indeed. like i said so Indeed. yeah so you find this on page 25 of the daily trust newspaper there at the bottom of the page it says 10 die in ninja boats mishap you find this on page seven a sad situation there earlier this week we had a situation of uh, boat mishap also in Adamawa State. Mm -hmm. I mean, the reoccurrence and of you know, this yeah, situation it's is becoming, really sad. Yeah, it's becoming uh, too much. You know, just this year alone, I, I wonder how many. I think it's lives. almost close to like 10 boat mishaps mm -hmm. so far. Mm -hmm. And is. many lives lost. So it's a sad situation. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think I heard, in, uh, you know, some stakeholders saying they want to go and have a meeting with uh, local divers and others uh, involved. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the taking care of everything uh, in uh, the rivers there, mm -hmm. riverine areas. But I think it was done in Adamawa. So we're waiting to hear the outcome because government and stakeholders need to, to yes, take care of that. We have Maida confirms as NCC boss and vows to breach access gap. You find this on page 7. 1.6 billion narrow fraud. And Mayfield arraigned and remanded in prison. I mean, it's what has been trending. You'll find this on page 7 as well. Uh, below the headmaster, it says, Tinubu cancels 40% deduction from university's IGR. Uh, you find this on page 4. I mean, the lecturers uh, are now happy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, at the end of the day, you know, we want everyone to win. It's a win-win situation. So, right now that... Uh, there's an increase on the, the judges' salaries. On strike. Uh, uh, yes, uh, everyone is getting an increase. My dad, please make it easier, life easier for the Nigerian citizens. Mm -hmm. We're talking about students uh, complaining about the fees. the school fees hike. So there should be a reduction on mm -hmm. that too. So that way, Nigerians will feel like okay, everyone is is, is benefiting. Is exactly, from, yeah. everyone is benefiting from that. All right. Um, the entertainment segment there it says i can never feature in a film that negates the house of culture and values that's according to aisha najamu you find this on page 12 if you are um a, a lover of the Kennywood movies then 
of course, you know, Aisha Legend. Yeah, a lot and, is and what she said, it, it's it's an amazing thing. I mean, it's it's good to you know the say if you don't if you don't stand for something then you stand for nothing mm -hmm. you know and values and culture at the end of the day it's us africa that don't even appreciate our culture mm -hmm. we see how the whites the westerners come in and appreciate our, our culture, culture. Mm -hmm. so there's always good to stick to your values you know maybe because it's our culture that's why they don't take it serious you know we also take other people's cultures, cultures serious. Mostly, yeah, yeah. Well, so that, i think it's a that's a really bad <laughs> <laughs> negative situation. way you know of living life I know talking about the Kanyewood industry, you know, a lot is happening. Like she said, she will never navigate, uh, you know, the house of culture and what have you. But then you can see the situation with Sahir recently when he was trying to pass a message and then he was, he was attacked and criticized and banned mm. for two years and all. But I understood what the message he is trying to pass is, I, though, you know. I, I but then everybody has a way that they understand. Exactly. See, yeah. there, there's a difference between uh, passing a message and being outright insulted. For mm -hmm. me, I felt that was too no, but, much of a hit. You know, but, but the, you know, there was a... It, it, the only thing was he could get actually. away... I know, but the only thing he could get away with is the fact that he would say, I never mentioned names. Mm -hmm. But when you watch that... At the end of it, there was a clip that was played, and the clip did, if you don't get it, forget about it. Yeah. It meant it was directed at somebody that you're supposed to know. Well, so that, if you look that, at his and, content and, and as well. And that knows, that knows uh, the, the Kanye wood industry, what is happening in Kano, with that video, you already know who he was talking about. That was my own pers well, perspective. Well, you know, but if you look at his content, you can actually see that he has been you know, making such videos and passing messages that, you know, it's actually, he's actually saying the reality of what is happening. Not just on any of the social media handles, but not particularly the one that he spoke on, but in all, is what is happening that he's trying to pass out the message out there. But then people, like I said, misunderstood it. No, but people, I understood what the message not. is. I didn't really Kanye relate it didn't, to anybody, didn't. you know. Kanye because, people yeah, did not uh, Abba, uh, yeah, Abba and Mustafa coming out to say, Oh, he's been banned. He was asked to come and he didn't come. Anyway, we could, we could yeah. we talk about this. You know, it's going to be <laughs> All right. a whole I lot mean, of discussion. Yes, indeed. It is going to be another discussion for another day. Well, these are some of the stories on the Daily Trust newspaper this morning. Okay, so let's quickly move to the this day newspaper. Uh, above the mass, you can see Tsinubu heads to Germany for G20 Compact with Africa Conference. And... Um, yeah, that's the story on uh, page three. Um, MFLA charged for purchasing vehicles for CBN remanded pending bill. You can find that story on page five. And then below the mass, all four ramps of third mainland bridge to be closed Monday. You can find that story on page nine. So I think construction is being carried out at the mainland bridge where a whole lot of, you know, uh, things happening that we talked about a couple yeah. of months ago, so but it's I going to be different routes, you know, to follow. Yeah. It will be tedious for. So uh, it's always good, you know, when there's an announcement like this that people will know that something is about to happen and the roads are going to be closed and what have you. So think. Your plans yeah, earlier. so you can find that story on page nine. Northern states SSGs lament poverty, insecurity in region. You can find that story on page. Uh, front page of the this day newspaper and then you can see after zamfara appeal called uh, appeal called voids kano governor's election rules abba yusuf not qualified to contest tension high in state oppose election of bala muhammad in bauchi see that's another situation that we didn't talk about the bauchi uh, 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 governor's um yeah even though he was he Later. is a city and governor, so we, we didn't expect something different. So, different yes, to uh, I mean, uh, the, the court said that uh, Sadiq Abubakar was not able to prove that yes. there was a, a rigging and, mm. and malpractices. So. so he still remains the governor of Bauchi State, and that's a good one. And then uh, counter-terrorism in Northeast. Uh, that's it for the, this day newspaper this morning. The front page of the Guardian, the major services on easy calm in Keno as appeal court affirms tribunal judgment, sacking Governor Yusuf. Ryder says APC applauds verdict, says party ready to meet outside governor at Supreme Court. 
judgment a tragedy to democracy, according to Kano residents who are insisting on that. NNPP expresses optimism in Supreme Court upholding people's will. I find all uh, this story on page two. Below the headlines, it says Nigeria's waterways disaster death on the pro. Indeed, I mean, that's the scariest thing happening with the post mishaps and all that. The fact that we see Muftia Jokombo, most stereotypes are placed on us by other people based on their perception, and that is on point. Okay, it's what people feel that they want you to act like it. The people see you and they tell you. They want you to behave. Yes, they, they, someone has the mentality of how a married woman should be. So they, that person would want you to uh, act as that because that is how they see married women. So that is them stereotyping you to act a certain way mm. with so much expectation on you. So yes, she made... A, a strong or valid point. I and you know, every that. every week there's this, you know, something that a woman comes out to say mm. that that woman should, you know, stand up for themselves, yeah. do this, do that. So yeah, it's, it's actually right that uh, you know there's a way that they, that's why it's no good to bring a third party into, because yeah. when you have a certain thing and you share with, if I share with you, you give me your advice, you're waiting for me to act on the advice yeah. you've given me, and if I don't, you you get hurt. So I think <laughs> it's better you keep your Indeed. your things, yeah. All right, so below the major story, we have nomination of judges to Supreme Court without involving NJC invalid. Lawyers declare, you find this on page three, Nigerians must unite to achieve Zeke's dream for nation, according to Sultan. You find this on page 26. Air power has disrupted said the terrorist networks, uh, says Shatima. You find this on page three. I mean, if indeed it disrupted their network, then it's a good start. Uh, they, they, they won't have access to any uh, plans of mm. what is happening uh, in the nation. And then uh, their security agent can mm. actually take advantage of that and ambush them. We just pray for, you know, the, the safest Nigeria. That is the prayer of every citizen at this point because it's so scary how you move from one place to another and the next thing is you've been kidnapped, you've been asked to pay ransom to farm in your land, uh, you've been asked to pay ransom to remain in your own village. I mean, right now it's like the rural areas are the most targeted places and, uh, you know, uh, the people are saying that the, the government or the elites don't feel their pain because they are not experiencing what they're experiencing and it's a sad situation. The rural areas used to be the most safest place. Uh, and then below the belt, we have a Mayfield to spend four days in Kuji Correctional Center. Now, these are some of the stories on the Guardian newspaper this morning. Okay, so let's quickly move to the nation Saturday. Uh, above the mass, you can see that uh, Kodri remains ex CBN Governor Emefele in prison denies charge of confirming corrupt advantage. You can find that story on page 3. Ozodima Ododo Diri gets certificate of return from INEC. You can find that story on page 5. And then below the mass, appeal court affirms Abba Yusuf Sachs as governor, uh, Kano governor. You can um, see that uh, on ease come as APC Nasiru Gawano wins again. NMPP heads for Supreme Court says verdict threats to democracy. We will defeat you finally. We will defeat you finally there, Ganduje tells NMPP. A court confirms Bala Muhammad's election as Bauchi governor. You can find all that story on page four of the nation. And um, uh, below there, you could the pictorial, you can see how impatient doctor infected me with HIV at age 11. You can find that story on page 11. So, Maya, now that's a sad one that um, she was infected at the age of 11 with HIV. And she's going I, I to want, come out I'm to, just curious you know, to, speak to about, read that. Yeah. Because they say how impatient doctor. So, uh, you could be, you'll be wondering how you know the, the whole happened so you have to go way. through mm. the story for you to be able to know what really happened that. yeah if it was through a transfusion or whatever it is that happened so you can find that story on page 11 and then by the side murder murdered lecturer gets letter confirming professorship at week you can find that story on page two so that's another sad one 
unfortunately she is she has gotten the letter that she's a professor and she has but then she is late yes that's a sad one i think we it was a letter that, that was murdered in right in, yes mm. we hope that the perpetrator of those acts you know are called to justice oh that's it for the nation newspaper and then we'll move on to the next all right it's saturday vanguard it says why our current financial system favors the rich against the poor that's according to analysts uh, rich and poor gap widening as system responds to inflation and situation to persist as CBN's policy committee meets next week this is the absolute truth i mean earlier we 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 had this gap of there is the middle class there is the the, the lower and then there is the top but then right now the gap between even the middle class and now you know the lower class it's, it's just so much i mean the government needs to do more it is better for a country to have m more middle class than to have more uh lower class it draws back the, the progress of the country uh, uh you know it, it brings uh, this poverty and uh, increasing mm. in a country which is a really sad well. situation mm. all right so uh, we have alleged procurement fraud. Uh, M.F. pleads not guilty. Enugu students killed by kidnappers and buried as uh, police keep mum over known kidnappers. Then uh, you find this on page 27, a really sad situation. Also earlier this week, we saw um, a reverend father also being killed by kidnappers even after they were paid the ransom. Sad situation there. Back to that security issues again. Well, by Elsa Emo Kogi, where money came tops. I got 15,000 naira. My wife was a uh, junkie, right? With uh, 40, okay, okay Lokia with 40,000 naira and rapper, according to Tricycle Operator. For the first time in a long while, I cook sumptuous meal for my family, according to Mother of Five. Kogi's vote buying slogan East for Ajaka, Ajaka, Central for Ododo, and West for 5K. Okay, sad situation there. Uh, you find all these stories on page 10. We have why uh, Kano, why appeal court sacked Governor Yusuf. Now, if you do not, uh, if you haven't heard the details of uh, the verdict, then you can find it on page 29 of the Vanguard. How to save Nigeria, that's according to Adebanjo, Anyaoko, Obi, Inkige, and others. Now, these are some of the stories on the Guardian newspaper this morning. And yes, uh, this is the much we can take right now on the newspaper. But I just want to quickly grab on numbers here. It says the jobs that the federal government said it would create with transition to renewable energy by 2030 and uh, 840,000 in 2060 it's about 340,000 now if that can be promised and it can be delivered that would be a good thing for nigerians we have a naira nigeria record as post harvest loses annually or 94.5 billion naira annual losses per 36 states and fct if shared equally the money lost we have 3.5 Trillion naira, hmm. a huge amount. Uh, we have Nigerian students, federal government sent on scholarship for different programs on bilateral education agreements in Russia. You find this on, uh, okay, the number is about 179. Um, I mean, that, that's a good thing. The most important thing, you know, uh, the government are scared of sponsoring these mm -hmm. uh, students and they don't come, come back. back. But if you are a really patriotic citizen, then you should know that you're supposed to come back yeah. uh, not to kill opportunities for others who are really patriotic at heart. And we have Nigeria Customs Service said was lost to waivers about concessions for former President Muhammadu Buhari granted to investors in 2023 about 1.3 trillion naira. A lot of money lost in Nigeria. Well, these are some of the stories that we can take on the front pages of the National Dailies. You can go grab uh, your uh, national newspapers this morning and daily trust newspapers well we'll take a short break and when we come back it's the most amazing time where we get to hear from you stay with us but the situation where you find that they look like the not necessarily uh, tribal or regional